Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Club and today, uh, as well as going for the usual Beer 52 box, we're also paying a, a visit to Massam in Yorkshire, which is the home of the Black Sheep Brewery. Now at the moment the uh, brewery tours are off at the moment, what with uh, Covid-19 and what have you, but the shops are open, the restaurants are open, the bars are open, so we can still go in there and we can have a film around show you what it's like inside a Black Sheep uh, brewery and uh, might even pick up a few supplies uh, for my own pub shed as well. Let's uh, let's pop inside and have a look. So a uh, bit of background history, the Black Sheep brewery was first established in 1991 by Paul Feakston, a member of the famous Feakston brewery family uh, which is also based in Masson. Uh, Feakston had been managing director of uh, Fixton Brewery since the late 60s, but following disagreements between other members of the family over selling the brewery to a larger company, uh, Paul decided to leave the family business and start up his own brewery. Uh, now seeing himself as the black sheep of the family, the name stuck and the black sheep brewery was born. Uh, whilst Thinks has continued to be a more traditional brewery, Black Sheep's gone for a more sort of modern model with a far more uh, sort of varied selection of beer types and hops used. Uh, all bottled beers brewed by the Black Sheep Brewery are actually suitable for both vegetarians and vegans, uh, if that information is useful to you. And they've even done a number of collaborative beers for the likes of Emmerdale and even Monty Python's Flying Circus, if you can believe that. So we ended up buying a few things for the pub shed at home, so let's head back to the Mavis Tavern now and I'll show you what we bought. Right, so we're back from Black Sheep Brewery, so I'm just going to show you quickly what it is we've bought. This is all, this is all going to go in the pub itself. So first of all we've got ourselves a keg of Black Sheep IPA. We're actually going to connect this to the, uh, to the pump. Uh, we're going to actually have this when the bar properly opens and we have people around, so we're saving that for opening opening day. Um, these are on special offer. We've got a pack of 12 here of uh, Milkshake IPA. These are on special offer. I actually had these before. These are very nice. Uh, when it came to like getting a, a pack of six, because I'm like a kid in a candy store whenever I go to Black Sheep Brewery, I couldn't decide which one I want, so I ended up getting a mix. So we've got um, for my generation which is the Session Pale Ale that they do. Very, very nice. We've got Rig Welter, which is a strong dark Yorkshire ale. This actually goes really well with food. In fact, while we're there, we actually ordered some food um, and they actually do a really nice um, steak and ale pie that's made with this. I would highly recommend that. Got a Chock and, Ol Chock and Orange Stout, which, um, I've not, I've not sort of often seen the supermarket, so I thought right, we'll get that while we're here. Uh, this is the free wheeling, free wheeling pale ale called Velo, which they did in celebration of the Tour de Yorkshire, which, funnily enough, was one of the reasons <laughs> that stopped us from getting into Mass of the first time we went. Were it Tour de Yorkshire at World Cycling Championship? It was one of the other. It was one of the other. It's all, so we had to kind of do a detour and come back later. And then we've got two bottles of uh, 54 Degrees North, which is the uh, small batch lager that they do. So uh, I think both myself and my wife wanted one of these, so we've got, we got, uh, we got two. Uh, whilst we're there as well, we've got some other little bits as well. You might have seen some of it while, uh, while I was filming in the shop. So we've got the badge to sort of go on the front of the, uh, of the pump. The black sheep, black sheep ale. We've got ah, we've got the bar towel, or rather it's a bar towel. We've got a couple of glasses. Uh, this particular one here, which I think has got a fantastic shape to it. This is a two-third uh, pint size, so that'll be going up on the shelf. Well, of all the other ones that, uh, that we've got. We've got two of those. Again, really like the, the shape of that. Oh, hang on. Got a sticker. <laughs> I've got a black sheep sticker, so that'll go, in, that'll go in the window of the bar. And we've got two more glasses. 
These are like small uh, half pint size versions of the uh, black sheep uh, pint glass, which one of these we've already got. They're so cute! They're so, oh, they are, they're very cute. So we've got two of those as well. So we've got a nice little spending spree at uh, a black sheep. We've got a few bits and pieces in for when we do start to open the bar. At the time recording this, we're just waiting to get the electrics in, but fingers crossed we can get this opened up soon. Um, but for now, we're actually going to go over to uh, unboxing this month's Beer 52 box, and this month's theme is summer beers. So as you can see, we've got a nice bit of sunshine here, so we've got the weather for it, which is fantastic. Right, let's go over and get that box cracked open. So, onto the Beer 52 box for this month. And the bar snack we have this time is the return of the Brave Roasted Chickpeas. However, this is a new garam masala flavour, which is absolutely delicious and is actually an exclusive to Beer 52. So, yes, more of this, please. So, onto the beers themselves. And first up from Kirkstall Brewery, we have the Virtuous Aromatic Session IPA. Now, as the name suggests, this is a Leeds based brewery and I've actually had a few pints of this before whilst on nights out in Leeds with uh, Luke and Josh and with other friends. Um, we've got a light caramel aroma with honey and mango in the taste and a slight sort of bitter but satisfying aftertaste. Um, a great little old school IPA that never fails to be enjoyable, very drinkable um, and I could quite easily drink these all night. So uh, thanks for popping that in the box there, Beer 52. Next up is Whiplash's Body Riddle Pale Ale. Um, great design on the can to start off with. Uh, tastes of grapefruit and lemon, which gives it this crisp, snappy and light uh, bodied taste. It's, uh, it's a pale ale that'd be ideal for a quick drink at lunchtime before going back to work. Or if you just wanted, again, something that you could comfortably drink all night. In fact, a lot of beers in this box are going to be like that. We then got a couple of beers from the Garden Brewery. Uh, this is a Croatian-based brewery that has had a number of fantastic beers featured in Beer 52 boxes before. Uh, they keep sort of, keep sort of popping up in other boxes and uh, I have no objections at all because I've never been disappointed by any of the beers in this. Uh, first up is the Flat White Coffee Porter. There's a lovely aroma of sweet coffee, vanilla and coconut that uh, comes through straight away pretty much as soon as you're pouring it into the into the glass. Uh, chocolate, coffee, coconut and caramel all come through in the flavour. It feels absolutely wonderful and creamy and it leaves a great aftertaste in the mouth. There is also the Micro New England IPA, an N-E-I-P-A if you like. This is a, uh, a fruity aroma of orange and mango with a hint of grapefruit in that carries over um, within a, a light citrus taste. Uh, nice hoppiness and again, very easy drinking. Um, another nice and refreshing ale for the summer. Uh, maybe one for a barbecue, I reckon this one would go well with. Next up, and oh, it's uh, it's a return from, from last month. People Like Us, Oats of disobedience. Now this is back in the box from last month which is handy as I <clears throat> put my hands up and admit I forgot to film myself pouring this and tasting it in the previous episode. <clears throat> so I I'm guessing that this ended up in the box again uh, due to Beer 52 being able to get hold of another beer that was expected for this box due to current events going off in the world at the moment. Uh, which is fine because it gives me a chance to rectify the mistakes I made with this beer last month because Number one, I forgot to film myself pouring it and drinking it. And number two, I called it Oats of Obedience rather than Oats of Disobedience. So yes, I, ha I have a chance now to redeem myself. So people like us, uh, they're a brewery based in Denmark that specialise in very unique beers. Uh, with their Oats of Disobedience, you've got yourself a smooth oatmeal stout with notes of chocolate, dark roasted coffee, and a nice burnt kick to it. Uh, it's a little thin compared to other stouts that I've had from other Beer 52 boxes and 
this sort of box included, but it's still a great stout to enjoy again. <laughs> Next up from Siren Craft Beer, we have the Lumina Session IPA. Now I've had a beer or two from Siren before, um, again courtesy of Beer 52, and they've never failed to disappoint so far. What we've got here is a lovely, spicy, peppery, peppery aroma to the beer to begin with. Uh, a bit of orange peel in there. There's a lot of flavours to enjoy upon drinking the beer. Um, very fruity, crisp and refreshing. Again, with that touch of spiciness, that touch of, of pepper in there. We've got like a really nice balance there between the spiciness, the pepperiness, pepperiness and the um, and the fruitiness. It's uh, it's very enjoyable on a hot sunny day. Um, in fact, while I was having this, uh, my wife was having a rum cocktail uh, while I was enjoying this, and uh, even Miko the dog wanted to come and say hello. So, hello. Oof. Uh, next up, we have a return for the Glen Afric Brewery. This is their Micro Variation Micro Keller, Keller Beer. I've had some enjoyable beers from this brew before, and this particular one comes in a big can, which is always a good thing. Uh, it's also uh, an award-winning beer as well. Uh, from the hazy amber-coloured ale, you get a lovely malty hoppy aroma, almost biscuity. Upon taking a drink, we're getting this great uh, malty, biscuity, grainy taste coming through. It's full of flavour, it's absolutely fantastic, yet it's still light enough to keep drinking throughout a hot summer's day. Uh, I can fully see why this won some awards, it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, and another winner from Glen Afric. Love their beers. Next up from the Bristol-based Wiper and True Brewery, we have Milkshake, which is a really nice solid milk stout. Uh, upon pouring the drink in, it is very dark, almost completely black. There's a, a lovely smell of chocolate that uh, also comes through. Um, comes through in the smell, comes through in the taste as well, along with uh, some smooth coffee. Uh, lots of milk on the aftertaste as well, so if you're having food with this, just make sure it's something nice and sweet, and that way it'll be an ideal, an ideal uh, 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 partner with that. Um, medium bodied and very pleasant to drink. Our next beer is from Buxton Brewery. This is the Luminous X X Simcoe. Uh, so this is another Indian Pale Ale in this month's box that comes out in this um, striking sort of hazy orange colour. Uh, on the aroma you've got your tangerine, your peach, your sort of citrusy smells. Looks like the type of beer that you'd probably like to have on holiday. I know I certainly would. That citrus then comes through into what's a rather uh, tarty taste with a bit of dryness at the end. Uh, it's very refreshing though, and it'll cut through any thirst that you might have on a hot sunny day like, like this. Uh, the White Hag Brewing Company, uh, they've appeared in a number of Beer 52 boxes before, most notably in the Island box from a few months ago. And I'm happy to see them return again. This time with their Hop Stravaganza Hazy New England IPA. Uh, after pouring the beer into the glass, we're getting plenty of fruity aromas, some mango, some pineapple, some lychee. This fruit then all comes through in the taste, plenty of citrus and tropical flavours with a, a hint of pine and a little bitterness at the end. Uh, very nice. I could actually see this going very well with some, uh, with some fish and chips. Oh, Irish beer and British fish and chips. What a fantastic marriage. So next up, we've got a beer from the M... BH, the Mobbly Brew House, and this is their Big Idea Oatmeal Stout. Um, this looks really nice, really lovely and silky smooth when you're pouring it into a glass, and the aromas that come off this are wonderful. Chocolatey, malty, biscuity, nutty, caramel. It really does smell so, <laughs> quite amazing, so, something special here. Uh, and then we come on to the taste itself. Lovely, velvety chocolate taste with a touch of sweet caramel and coconut coming through as well uh, and a hint of coffee. This is a terrific stout. I know I've said it before, before I started getting these B52 boxes, uh, I wasn't really much of a stout drinker and it's from, it's from beers like this that's 
proper turned me into a into a stout drinker. I might get some funny looks from some of my friends when uh, when we go out drinking again, and I decide to order a a stout. But uh, I don't care. I'm sure I, you know, if B52 can convert me into a stout drinker, I'm sure that um, others will be the same as well. Yes, big big thumbs up on this one. Uh, the last beer we're looking at, and this is actually the only bottle in this month's box, everything else was cans, is, uh, no, let me just see if I'm pronouncing it right, uh, Dugal's 942 American Pale Ale. So it's made in Spain, but with a name like Dugal's, it sounds like it's Irish, and it's an American Pale Ale. Okay, bit of an odd mixture going off there, but okay, let's, let's, Let's see what it's like. Um, okay, so this golden coloured ale has a slight aroma of orange and pineapple with a little bit of peach. Uh, nice and crisp, fruity and hoppy upon taste it. Um, it's light and refreshing. So again, uh, this is one This is one to have on, uh, on standby uh, if you're wanting a beer that's sort of safe to drink at lunchtime. Um, this is not a bad little APA at all. Very, very nice. So finally we have this month's Ferment magazine, which as usual is packed full of interesting articles about all the various different breweries featured in this month's box. Although, I think this month my favourite articles have been the one uh, where it's talking about drinking beer in lockdown uh, when you've got kids, you know, and basically <laughs> trying to sort of show them that there's an appreciation for beer, for the taste, uh, for the texture, for the smells, and it's not just something that dad drinks when he wants to get a little bit uh, tipsy. So it was an in interesting and uh, amusing read as well. Um, another one of my favourite articles as well was uh, about the best bar snacks out there, uh, with pork scratchings and Smith's scampi fries being called out as particular favourites. and. Uh, as you can see from what I've got behind my bar, I fully, fully agree with this. Uh, in fact, the, the fact that we can see that so many packs of pork scratchings and scampi fries have already been eaten, um, that I think that, that sort of speaks volumes. Uh, I keep telling the kids to uh, to stop stop pinching the bar snacks, they're to be for when people come round, but uh, I have to admit I've been pinching a few myself, so I can't really, uh, can't really say anything to that. Mm. So, um, I've really enjoyed this month's theme. There's been plenty of enjoyable, refreshing beers in this month's box. Uh, plenty, plenty more uh, lovely, gorgeous stouts to enjoy as well. And next month should be rather interesting as well because we're off to the Netherlands to see what kind of beers they have to offer. So until then, please uh, take the time, if you've enjoyed this video, Please leave a like, please leave a comment. If there's anything about this video that you've enjoyed, please let me know. Uh, I'm always looking for feedback, so if there's anything that you'd like to sort of, sort of bring out there to sort of try and make these videos better, I'd love to hear it. Um, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this, and also do share this with your friends across all your various social media gubbins. And we'll catch you next time for another episode of Beer Club. Cheers.